Welcome to another Places of Interest adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we're doing part 9 of our Bridges of the Singapore River adventure. And the last episode, we'll be exploring the source of the Singapore River. So let's get to it. Let's go, go, go! As you can see, we are actually passing Jack Kim Bridge, and we are actually at a at Kim Sing Park. Um, directly ahead of us is Kim Sing Park, and as we head closer to the end of the park, you'll notice there's another vehicular bridge that is. Uh, going across the river that is actually the Kim Seng Bridge and Kim Seng Bridge actually end, marks the end of Robertson Key and the beginning of the source of the Singapore River okay and also as you can see at the moment now there is heavy construction there's heavy construction in the area towards my right you see that um, they are actually building some condominiums yep so and then over there you can see the bridge so we will not be we, we, we are not able to actually go across the river at this side so we must actually uh, cross the river go back to the bridge and cross it on the other side and so this is the Kim Seng Bridge so the Kim Seng Bridge is actually not really named but it actually stands on Kim Seng Road and this bridge is actually the most westerly of the nine bridges crossing the Singapore River and also marks the supposed source of the Singapore River so we get its name from the Kim Seng Road which actually crosses the river at this bridge which is actually named after the Peranakan philanthropist Tan Kim Seng who was a wealthy trader and property owner with business interests in tin As you can see this tunnel here beside the canal or river, Singapore River, is pretty new, built recently and you can have a look at it, it's very roughly done as compared to the others that we walked past earlier, which was, you can see there's some edge to the walls you know, and they also decorated nicely, here it's just a standard decoration for the tunnel. But here, there's, see, there's more greenery though. So the emphasis has changed from previously, where there's a lot of history, to now more art, more landscaping and decoration, and more plants. The road that you're crossing the bridge is actually called Zion Road. Okay. And we'll be going there soon because at Zion Road there is a food center there called Zion Riverside Food Center which there's a lot of good food you can eat there and I will put in a link at the bottom of the page uh, for the full review of the food they can get there but in the meantime uh, opposite of the river from, from the food center is this um, old uh, one-story buildings which is actually the headquarters for the boys brigade okay the boys brigade is something like a uh, scouts okay for those in america the scouts okay so they go camping you know they do um, kind of activities to get badges so 
and this is the front of the building itself, the Boys Brigade building, the headquarters. So if you actually um, go across, I'm going to show you um, the food center, which is across the river from the Boys Brigade headquarters. This is a quite a small food center, but even though it's small, there's surprisingly a lot of good food here. So if you are in the area, uh, follow the instructions of how to get here from the link um, uh, that I placed at the bottom there, okay, for you to get to this food center. Okay, here's a few big, uh, some footage of the food center from the front. Okay, when you're closer uh, from across the river. Okay. So here's it, Zion Riverside Food Center. And one of the foods that I can recommend for you to try is a traditional uh, noodle dish. If you go to many Chinese uh, places, this they will they, some or some places may have this. This is a uh, wonton noodles or wonton mee. Okay, so this is the noodles itself. You have uh, egg noodles together with uh, char siu, which is a uh, barbecue pork, some blanched vegetables some deep fried wontons and then you also have some uh, wontons in soup uh, surprisingly the noodles here is actually quite tasty and quite affordable too so basically in Singapore uh, the most affordable food that you can find will be in food centers and most of the time in if you go to a food center that's not an aircon, the price will be cheaper than those that are aircon. And the quality of the food also at places that are majority not aircon are uh, served better quality and tasty food than those in the aircon uh, food centers. So here's the noodle. I selected the dry one, which is actually quite tasty and quite nice. And if you're here, a recommended try for you. I'm just uh, near the um, near Zion Road, where the bridge, where the road crosses the bridge. Okay, and this would be the source of the Singapore River, and the starting of the Alexandra Canal. And as you can see, they are dancing uh, catfish in the water. The the catfish are swimming around in circles, dancing around. Well, that's, they look like dancing to me. What do I know? I'm a city boy, but it looks like dancing to me. Anyway, so we continue along the canal. As I said, mentioned earlier, you know, do notice that, that the canal has changed slightly from a more historical uh, emphasis to now more recreational okay, so you have a lot of trees you have a pathway for you to cycle on to jog on to walk on and then they actually planted trees at the side of the road so that it's uh, cooling and the only issue I have is that Alexandria Canal by itself um, majority of the residential area here is uh, condominium are privately owned instead of the HDB which is a government um, a flats which you see on your left this is one of the short stretches of uh, area that you can see HDB where else majority and even further up you'll see that there's a lot of uh, private property and condominiums uh, built or being built as we continue down the canal, um, the bridges that will be passing by will mainly be unnamed bridges and the bridges will serve the purpose of either a vehicular bridge to transfer vehicles across or a pedestrian bridge to get people from one side of the river to the other side of the river. And so we are actually heading towards the 
beginning of the Exodentia Canal Connector Park It's actually across the road from here So instead of uh, Jay walking across the road, we will actually go towards the pedestrian crossing Which is on that side of the road So we will have to go across there, cross the road and come back on the other side So let's do that so this is the path that we are going to go along the Alexandria Park Connector Okay, let's just give me give you a few information about Alexandria Canal itself Okay, this is where we uh, were previously at the Zion Road Food Centre And this is where we are now Okay, so Alexandria Canal gets its name from the Alexandria area Okay, and Alexandria area gets its name from um, Alexandria Road okay, which is actually uh, adjacent to the area and Alexandria Road was actually named after the then Princess of Wales who later became Queen Alexandra consort to King Henry VII of the United Kingdoms okay. and so this, connect, this park connector or the Alexandria Canal itself is actually a functional canal and a concrete canal made of concrete and stretches from uh, Prince Charles Crescent to Tang Ling Road it was actually created to improve the structural conditions of the Singapore River and to alleviate flooding in the catchment so as I was going along here, you can actually see we are actually at a lookout over the river and we are actually looking out towards uh, the canal itself and you also can see the nature of the of the river itself is now more there's more landscaping done you know, there's uh, stone path walkways you know and there are a lot of flowers around so it's a much more inclusive and, and recreational environment and here we are actually going to cross one of the uh, pedestrian bridges that is created along the Alexandria Canal uh, pedestrian bridges for people to go across and as you can see there's a lot of construction around this area here mainly for condominiums okay so this area here is actually part of the source of the Singapore River because my idea is that even though it's stated that uh, the source starts at Kim Seng Bridge but Alexandria Canal actually provides the water that goes to the area at Kim Seng Bridge so the source of the Singapore River should be further ahead the source of the Singapore River should be the river Oh look, there's actually a frog swimming across Okay, so I was saying So the source of Singapore River should be the source of the Alexandria Canal So we're going to see whether we can look at that And further up ahead is actually another bridge This is a vehicular bridge that actually helps uh, people to cross from one side of the river to the other side of the river So it's also interesting to note right that uh, before modern development this area here and all this area here was actually uh, swamp fields and overrun with tidal currents and then in the 1850s this place was uh, filled with warehouses and shop houses and then later in the 19th century industries came here then only in the 1930s you know, in 1929 1980s that they start to to clean up the place to remove all the warehouses remove all the, the industries and then clean up the river and that's why now we have a river here with look at that turtles living in the water and I'm sure there are also fishes 
in the water here just that we can't see them in the murky water so unfortunately at the day itself that we that we came to this river to the Alexander Canal the water was a bit murky so we are actually heading towards to see whether we can find the source of the Alexander Canal which would feed to the Singapore River and here is where we come to a dead end I call this a dead end is because after this as you can see here there's actually a tunnel and the water is I mean the source of the LSJ canal would be somewhere inside underneath there and this uh, tunnel actually continues onwards past Tangling so this is a underground tunnel where the water flows out from to the Alexandra Canal and from Alexandra Canal to the Kim Seng Bridge and towards the Singapore River so the source is somewhere underneath inside there in the dark so this is as far as I can go uh, unless I became become a underground tunnel underwater tunnel explorer but I will be doing that anytime soon so let's just uh, stop it here and say that the source of the Singapore River is somewhere underneath here and if you walk further up you can see there's actually a educational area here that actually uh, students can come here to learn more about the environment around the area some of the unique uh, mud flat environments And then, if you go further up, there's also a nice little park uh, with some water features that is quite nice. And then after that, there's actually some HDB flats further up. And I would be going there to see whether I can see any other exits or any other entrances to the tunnel that we saw just now. Um, I've been walking around and I cannot see any other entrances or exits to the tunnel itself but by my estimation this is the direction that the tunnel would have gone and at the moment I don't see anything so that would end our adventure for today so Thank you very much for joining me for my Bridges of the Singapore River Adventure. We have came from the source of the Singapore River and we started at the mouth of the Singapore River. So it has been an interesting nine part uh, adventure and I hope you enjoyed it. I learned a lot. I saw a lot. I... Mm, and I also know there's more to learn about Singapore so in the future I will come up with more interesting places I'll come up with more places of interest in Singapore adventure with getting lost and I hope you join me for that too in the meantime I will end here and thank you very much and watch my food adventure videos too bye bye